The portrait of Federico Gonzaga by Francesco Fonzia is a remarkable example of Italian Renaissance painting. It shows the young son of Isabella d'Est, one of the most influential and cultured women of her time, who ruled Mantua with her husband Francesco II Gonzaga. Federico was born in 1500 and became the heir of Mantua after his elder brother died in 1511. In 1512, he was sent as a hostage to Rome by Pope Julius II, who wanted to secure the loyalty of the Gonzaga family in his wars against France. Federico stayed in Rome for three years, where he received a humanist education and met artists like Raphael. Fonzia, a painter, goldsmith, and medalist from Bologna, was commissioned by Isabella to paint a portrait of her son in 1510, when Federico was passing through Bologna on his way to Rome. Fonzia had only a few days to complete the portrait, which he based on sketches he made of the boy. He depicted Federico in a black hat and a black outfit with a white collar and cuffs, typical of the fashion of the time. He also added a gold chain around his neck, a symbol of his noble status and his mother's affection. The portrait shows Federico's delicate features and soft expression, which contrast with his serious and mature gaze. His rosy cheeks and blonde hair suggest his youth and innocence, while his calm and confident attitude reflects his dignity and courage. The dark background enhances the luminosity of his face and the richness of his clothes. The painting is a testimony of Isabella's love for her son and her desire to keep him close to her heart. The portrait was sent to Isabella in Mantua, but she was not completely satisfied with it. She thought that Federico's hair was too light and did not match his natural color. She asked Francia to darken it, which he did, but not without some reluctance. He wrote to Isabella, I have made his hair darker, but not as much as you wished, because it would have spoiled the harmony of the painting. The portrait is now on view at the Met Fifth Avenue in Gallery 604, where you can admire it in person. It is one of the finest works of Francia who was praised by his contemporaries as a master of color and grace. He died in 1517, reportedly of grief after seeing Raphael's Saint Cecilia, which he considered superior to his own art.